Hey everybody and welcome back to the vlog. Today is a Wednesday, April 21st. We are all finished up with school except for um, a couple of kids still have to do their math lessons on the laptop. We're having lunch right now. Everybody's over there at the table. Since we did not have those tacos last night for dinner, I just heated those up real quick. So I'm just he I'm just heating up the ground beef because it was just in the freezer. All I had to do was pop it on there, heat it up. So we're just gonna do some tacos for lunch. Um, and then we also have leftover chicken and rice casserole. We have leftover shrimp. Lots of leftovers. So I'm thinking tonight will be kind of like a just fix whatever you want. Not since we have so many leftovers left over. Um, that may be what we do for dinner as well. But I do have a OB appointment today at 1.30. It's a video chat. My first video chat. It says to log in like 15 minutes early. So I need to head upstairs after Everly lays down for her nap. And start my video chat with my doctor. This will be different. This is my first one. And it's not something that they require every single time. It's just... Um, one of those things where a couple of your appointments are video chat for whatever reason. So I have one today and then my next one's not until I think mid-June and the rest I go in office to actually see the doctor. So I will see how it goes. Okay, so it's almost appointment time. I have to log in like 15 minutes early. So I just came up here and kind of set myself up a little spot. Like I said, this is my first video chat. So I just took our little glider over there in the corner, put the laptop on the dresser and then I've just got my um, blood pressure checker here to be able to check my blood pressure because that's one of the things they want us to do on the video chat so hopefully this won't take too long i've got everly down for her nap and the girls i've got them sitting down watching a movie while i do this so that um they'll be occupied here for a few minutes but anyway i picked up this little blood pressure cuff off of amazon like a month ago i think um but this is good to have around anyway even if i didn't have the video chat just to check my blood pressure from time to time especially being pregnant or if Josh or somebody feels like they didn't check there. So, what, I don't even know what name brand it is. Yeah, it, it, is, it doesn't even have the name brand on here. I just picked it up off of Amazon. I wanna say I gave like 18 or $20 for it. So very inexpensive. But it's got like the actual blood pressure cuff that goes around your arm like the doctor's office use. You just take this and plug it in to the side right here. And then turn it on. And I need to put this on. I'm gonna go ahead and have my blood pressure checked though. That way, when she comes on, I can be like, hey, I already know what my blood pressure is. Anyway, so yeah, it's a pretty good investment, I think, because it works really good. I've checked my blood pressure a couple of times on it and it seems to be exactly what it is every time I go into the doctor's office. Thankfully, I don't ever get high blood pressure. The only time I've ever gotten high blood pressure was my first pregnancy with Kylie and that was because I was preeclampsia. I was borderline and I think when I finally went in labor with her, I was either still borderline or right at preeclampsia. I don't remember. I just remember having to do all those tests and them telling me we need to induce you early because of high blood pressure. So that was the only time that I ever experienced that. You know, my ankles would swell so big, so big because of that. And I've heard it's very common in your first pregnancy. Um, thankfully, I've had many more pregnancies after that and I have never dealt with high blood pressure since then. So I'm very thankful for that. Am I supposed to hit something? I can't hear. Hello? Hey, I can. Okay, let me try it. Is that better? Oh, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm gonna hang up on the phone, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, well, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Everything's going good. Good, good. that's awesome. Are you having any issues or concerns? No, everything's going good. No issues, no headaches, nausea, vomiting, swelling, or bleeding? No. Good. Okay, so that's over. It didn't take too long. Everything went good. I had to weigh myself, tell my blood pressure, she asked me questions, I had any problems. I don't have any problems, so I don't go back until May 10th, and I go in office for that for my glucose test, so it'll be my long appointment. And she said after May 10th, after the glucose test, I go every two weeks, and then I'll go every week, and then we'll see baby. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So anyway, we're going to make a little afternoon snack now. Everly is helping Kylie dig stuff out of the cabinet. I'm gonna make just some quick muffins, some banana nut and some blueberry muffins. Let's go on the table. You, I, I'm not, she's not Bethany, no, do you wanna go outside? Yeah. Come on, fix your hair first. I Okay y'all, so it is 
almost four now. It, what time is it? Ella, what time is it? It's not, oh, it's almost five. Never mind. I was looking at the countdown on the oven. It's, it was like close to, anyway. It's almost five, not almost four. So I am in the kitchen now, getting dinner ready. Just gonna do some breakfast food. I thought we'd do leftovers, but I don't think there's quite enough for everybody. So we'll just do that for lunch again tomorrow. So we're gonna have some biscuits, um, eggs, bacon, and I love it doing gravy biscuits, but we may just do jelly biscuits tonight. But I've got the oven preheat now. It's kind of loud in there. The girls, it's so cold outside, y'all, today. I went outside and the wind is blowing so hard. It's like, it's cold. I had to turn the heat on in the house, actually. It's so cold. So I've got all the girls in today. And, you know, when there's nothing to go and do, I'm letting them have some TV time while I cook dinner. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. I have been really tired today for some reason. So I just... After we eat those muffins, I lay down on the couch and Natalie lay down on the couch with me. Her and I both fell asleep for about, probably about 30, 45 minutes together, but it was so nice to just lay there and fall asleep for a few minutes. But anyway, that was Josh calling me and telling me he's on his way home. It's actually later than I thought, y'all. It's 513, so the day's kind of flown by. But anyway, yeah, I was just going to say the rest was nice. What are you two playing? Are you dragging her on the blanket, Natalie? Yeah. Everly got your baby. Say. All of our cups got dirty from sitting in the sink today. I think we've run the dishwasher maybe once, so I'm hand washing all of the cups real quick. There, I turn the brightness down a little bit. Sometimes the thing will give. If I'm beside a window or something or a door, it's like the brightness is too much, so I have to turn it down. You just had a banana. While I'm washing these up, I wanted to give y'all a quick update on the girls. I know that some of y'all have asked in the comments, and thank you for praying for them. Um, basically, it was like just a little 24-hour cold. Like, I think only two of them had fevers, and their fevers lasted like 12, a little over 12 hours. Some of them might have been 24. Um, and then it was gone. They felt really bad for a whole day. And then after that, they've been fine. Like, their throat hurts a couple days after, of course, because that's normal when you have a cold. Um, so the fevers left, all of that left. Everybody has a little bit of a runny nose, and that's it. Like, seriously, they're better, and they feel fine. I know some of you are concerned about the C word. I don't like to say it on my YouTube channel, because I heard they censor it if you say the C word, the virus. But I know for sure that's not what it was, because it was very short-lived. It was in, and it was out in no time, so stop that. But I just want to let y'all know that everybody's on the mend and doing good. On Wednesday nights, we go to the church that we've always went to. On Wednesday nights, just because the church where Pastor Hill doesn't have a Wednesday night service right now. But we went ahead and just canceled that service. I wouldn't cancel it. We we're just not going. Um, just to be safe. Just to not spread germs to any more children in the nursery, of course. Just to, we're just going to stay home and keep our germs to ourselves until the cold is completely like run through our household. And then we should be good to go. Oh, and while I'm washing these cups. Remember these cups I got from Target for 50 cent a piece? Well, there was a reason they were 50 cent a piece. They are terrible cups. I left one in, with milk in it the other night sitting on the counter. I got up the next morning. There was milk all around the cup and under the cup that I had to wipe up. So it sweats a lot. And I don't prefer cups to sweat because you, when you sit it on your um, like side tables or something like that, it kind of ruins them. So there's a reason these cups are 50 cent. I mean, I guess they're nice for the kids to take outside and drink in them or whatever, but... If you're looking for a set of cups just to keep around, I don't suggest these. now which means bedtime for littles i am in natalie and everly's room i'm looking in their drawers 
getting pajamas out now, so I'm going to go ahead and change them for bed and get them settled down. I usually get those two settled down first, and then I go to my next two oldest and get them settled down for bed. And then my four oldest have a little bit extra time um, to stay up. So, um, I had a quick question for y'all, because y'all are always so helpful with this. So, lately, I'm almost 26 weeks pregnant, but I've been having like a little bit of achiness and cramping in my lower back. Not all the time. It's just if I turn a certain way or sit a certain way. And I have never used a belly band in pregnancy before. Because I know that you can use those for like support to help your back while you're pregnant. Um, I've never used one and I'm not really good at picking up that kind of thing. Because I never know which one to get. I don't want to get one that's not going to work. Um, so if you've ever used a belly band or have one that you recommend, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to check it out. Because I would like something for a little bit more support. Since my belly's growing and I've still got like what 13 probably about 13 weeks left of pregnancy um so i really like to have that so if y'all have any suggestions just leave them in the comments below and i'll definitely check out whatever you um put down there but anyway y'all i'm gonna get these little ones ready for bed i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here i thank y'all so much for watching if you need please hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up and i'll talk to you in the comments bye